Hey there, science enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a 200-meter asteroid slammed into the central Pacific Ocean? Let's dive into this mind-blowing scenario. First off, an asteroid of that size would hit with an unimaginable force. Think about it. This rock from space would be traveling at around 20 kilometers per second. That's like going from New York to Los Angeles in just a few minutes. The impact would release energy equivalent to about 60,000 megatons of TNT. To put that into perspective, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar bomber, was just 50 megatons. Now, imagine over a thousand of those going off all at once. The initial impact would create a massive explosion, vaporizing the asteroid and part of the ocean floor instantly. The shockwave would spread out, creating gigantic waves. We're talking tsunamis that could reach over 100 meters high. These waves would travel at jetliner speeds, hitting coastlines across the Pacific in mere hours. Imagine being on a beach and suddenly a wall of water taller than the Statue of Liberty is heading your way. But that's not all. The impact would throw up huge amounts of water vapor and debris into the atmosphere. This could block sunlight, leading to what scientists call an impact winter. Think of it as a volcanic winter, but on steroids. Global temperatures could drop, potentially harming crops and disrupting ecosystems around the world. Marine life around the impact site would be devastated. The underwater shockwave would be deadly to most sea creatures and the changes in water chemistry and temperature could have long-lasting effects. The human impact would be massive too. Coastal cities could be flooded, causing billions in damages and displacing millions of people. Emergency services would be overwhelmed and the economic impact would ripple across the globe. So, while it sounds like science fiction, it's a stark reminder of the power of these space rocks. Thankfully, agencies like NASA are keeping an eye on potential threats. And who knows, maybe one day we'll have the technology to prevent such a catastrophe. Stay curious and keep looking up.